My next guest you'll find at the piano. Please welcome Lenny Solomon. <laughs> Example of, of schlock rock, or is it something different? Well, uh, schlock rock actually uh, is um, pop music with the words changed. Mm -hmm. The word schlock means used or um, redone. Like when you say, I have a schlocky sofa, that means you have a used sofa. This is very schlocky, this one. Lenny Salman. When I was a kid, we all grew up on the songs. I learned them in the middle. Today, he was a friend of ours in Beit Shemesh. כמעט שלושים שנה אחרי שהוא המציא את הרוקנרול היהודי עם להקת שלאק ראק. איכשהו הוא עדיין עושה את זה. חי את החלום שלו. לאחרונה הבנתי שכבר לא כל כך הולך לו. החלטתי לאסוף אותו מסיבוב ההופעות האחרון ולשמוע מקרוב. So I've played 43 states, I've done 2,000 shows, I've been in nine countries, I've sold around 200,000 discs. Really, it's an amazing accomplishment for Jewish music. With that said, I never made seven million dollars or even one million dollars. What I made was a living every single year. People are no longer buying music, they're buying one song instead of an album. So my sales, which used to be, you know, up here, are now down 90%. And all of a sudden, you are having trouble bringing home money when you go away for three weeks. The real question is, what does next year hold for me? And I don't know yet. Now, if I go out and I raise the money for Daniel and Babylon and we get a theater, then we're going to be going to production. And I will be in a totally different genre of music from rock and roll, from Jewish rock and roll to the theater. Um, if that does not happen, though, then... ברוך אתה אבנה אלוהינו מלך עולם אשר בחר בן ג'י שנתן לנו תרעת אמת לחיות עולם נתן בתוכנו ברוך אתה אבנה אלוהינו תורה כי בשם קודש אחד נשבעת לו שלא יכבד מרוע לעולם ברוך אתה 
Baruch Hashem. Amen. Whose words are written under the Chumash, the inside of every page of Talmud? Whose three daughters married great scholars? Everyone knows it's Rashi. And Rashi was so concise, and in his own script did write. And if you want to know why, just look inside. Just look inside. Everyone knows it's Rashi. Everyone knows it's Rashi. Everyone knows it's Rashi. Because this never was supposed to be a career. It was supposed yeah. to be a, a fad, a one album fad. I mean, I never really planned on doing Eliyahu wanna be, Eliyahu wanna be. Eliyahu, Eliyahu, Eliyahu wanna be. 28 and a half years later, I'm gonna be doing Eliyahu wanna be. Who would ever have thought that? So when, when I got those letters from people saying, you know, we're being inspired, I said, oh, well, maybe that's what this is for. And I started working on the second album. Born in the USA, now I'm making Aliyah today. I was born in... Like that. Now, the funny thing was, I hadn't made Aliyah yet. It took 11 years after that song was written in 1985 for me to make Aliyah in 1996, but that wasn't really important. The important was it was the vision. The vision of Schlockrock, which was Jewish pride, Jewish identity, Jewish awareness, Jewish continuity, which I didn't know what I was doing, though. In other words, I was having a good time. Somebody said, oh, Lenny, you're just a gimmick. Gimmicks don't last 28 and a half years. They last two years, three years. If I were to ask you, say 20 years ago, how long would you, would you think that this would last? My friends always said to me, how long do you think this is going to go on for? <laughs> and I didn't know. I didn't think it would ever end, frankly. Is it going to end? I, th I think it has to change. Okay, so it let, now let's so let's sum up in terms of what we're going to do when we get into that meeting. Well, we don't have to confirm anything with an investor as long as it's for the purpose of developing the show for New York. Correct. No, no, no I, I, I understand that. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying. I'm not saying and we have to raise an. We're going to have to raise an extra ten to twenty grand. I don't know. Um, okay, very good. I, I, I don't know. I don't. I still don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we should be wasting our time doing this. You know that. I don't know. I, I hear you. On the I other hand, you know what Ken Davenport just wrote and sent out an email? The biggest mistake is not to do it. Right. Which is what I was going to tell you. You read that, right? I read it. The biggest mistake a director can make is not to do it. Be good, be cool, be Jewish. Right? This also did fantastically well. The Woodschlock tour. I think I even have one of those. Tie-dye. Unlock the schlock. A girl in Omaha, Nebraska said to me, unlock the schlock. I said, wow, that's pretty good. I put it on the back of a t-shirt. Never gave her credit. I don't even remember her name. In my mind, next year is the third year of the schlock rock three-year farewell tour. In other words, I actually, the, the reason I'm finishing all 50 states is we're, we're wrapping it up. I'm wrapping it up. There will have to be another step. I don't know what that step is. It could be that I will teach bar mitzvah lessons, voice lessons, and piano lessons, and not tour. I don't know. I don't know what will be next. All I can do is go by my inner voice and my inner, you know, call it the soul. Um, but it's so much fun. This was so much fun. I don't have it. You know, I'm talking like it's over. I don't know. You everywhere, man. I'll take you everywhere, man. Where the desert's blue, man. Valleys, mountains, sand, man. So if you're touring here, man, I'll take you everywhere. Okay, now I gotta hear when he comes in. I think it's a half a bar later. I've been very lucky, and of course I contributed, of course, all to God, because I never planned on being the king of schlock, and I never planned on being 
a rock and roll performer that I would go around the, the world, um, you know, doing shows. Yeah. It's been a dream. People look at me and they say, you've been living the dream. And I have, because there is nothing like doing music for a living. There is nothing like doing rock and roll shows for a living. We are all kind of waiting. Now, it could be that I will become the next great Broadway composer. I don't know. Only time will tell. All you people in Beit Shemesh, this is called Aliyah Dream.